this passion about scarves, I think, from my mom, that she also loves scarves. And that uh, made me think recently about the power of the small things in our lives and the power of color. Because Carve Suzali came in different colors and we use them as a way of expressing ourselves. And uh, we are surrounded by colors in our daily lives and not always aware of how that uh, influences our emotions, our mindsets, and even our actions. And if you think about the advertisement and marketing, they are very, very, very aware about the power of colors. Expanding possibilities, the mindset zone. I'm your host, Anna Malikian. And my mission is to support individuals and organizations to increase their impact while avoiding burnout. If you want to work smarter, not harder, I can help you. If you want to go from burnout to full engagement, let's talk. Reach me at Anna, A-N-A, at mindset.zone. Yes, instead of .com, it's .zone. You can also access all the episode notes, links, and other amazing resources at mindset.zone. I love scarves. I have a collection of scarves to the point that I have to have one of that organizers in my closet or several of them where I can put them in a way that I can see them. And uh, I think I love scarves because it's so easy to put a different color or or changing the the look and the feel and um, and I have this passion about scarves I think from my mom that she also loves scarves and that uh, made me think recently about the power of the small things in our lives and the power of color because scarves usually came in different colors and we use them as a way of expressing ourselves. And uh, we are surrounded by colors in our daily lives and not always aware of how that uh, influences our emotions, our mindsets, and even our actions. And if you think about the advertisement and marketing, they are very, very, very aware about the power of colors. In terms of think about the logos, or even if you have your own company or your own branding, how many hours do you spend thinking about your brand colors and what that that mean? Uh, companies and big marketing companies they are experts of this. Uh, for instance, nowadays we see the red as uh, having the meaning of the energy, the passion, excitement. So it's a popular color for brands that want to evoke strong emotions and even conveying urgency. Think about Coca-Cola, energy, YouTube, see the next video, Netflix. There is that energy that they want to transmit in their logo. I myself chose red for my branding, because I like the energy of the color. And it's one of my favorite colors since I was a kid. But other colors like blue, for instance, nowadays is very associated with trust, stability, calmness. So many companies in the financial world, even in the technology, think about IBM, or think about social media that are trying to use this color to or the Facebook, the Twitter, LinkedIn. Or think about yellow, that if you nowadays, you any book that is about positivity, happiness, has a yellow cover. Any app, many of the apps for personal development go to the yellow color because it's associated nowadays with happiness, warm optimism. So this is really fascinating to think about the colors or 
for instance, another color green uh, that is linked to nature, to growth, to renewal. And many of the more ecological brands will use that color, Whole Foods, and think about any, even in the big corp space, many of the logos have the green because of that attention to the environment and sustainability. Of course, there is all exceptions to these rules, but there is like a code, the colors uh, evoke an emotion, even in the luxury brands, the, the use of gold. Think about Rolex, the iconic Swiss watchmaker, they use the gold crown in its logos because it's, it's that symbolism of status, of luxury. And of course, you then you even have brands like Tiffany, the jewelry brand, that is the Tiffany blue. We use them, the brand, to define a specific blue that has a specific association. Because, the yes, colors, they evoke an emotion that has to do with a lot of associations, a lot of our culture and historical context. And there is an evolution of the color meanings to the point that a brand can give a certain meaning to a color too. And it's fascinating in terms of evolution of colors. I was not many long ago in a lecture organized here by the museum in Phoenix, Arizona, that they had this exhibition about Barbie. And Barbie, the doll, is associated with pink. And they have a very big collection of costumes where they did a parallel exhibition about the power of pink. And they brought a panel of people speaking about the evolution of the color pink through history. And was fascinating because in the beginning, when pink was started to be used in fa fashion, was a very luxury color, different different and difficult to get and expensive, and was a masculine color. Only in the past centuries became associated with feminine. So it's fascinating to see how the meanings change and seem that other colors also had different evolutions throughout history. Blue uh, was once linked with sadness, so you have the blues. And even today we have that the term, and nobility. Uh, nowadays it's more used mainly in advertisements with trust, calmness, stability. The yellow <laughs> has a bad reputation, it was historically symbolized more jealousy, dishonor, and now it's connected with happiness and optimism. The purple was very much a difficult color to get, so it was reserved to reality, religious figures, and now it represents more creativity, imagination, uh, the spirituality, the new age. It's fascinating. But think about even in the ancient traditions, from religions and from the Eastern traditions, for instance, the colors and the chakras. Uh, if you are into the chakras, you probably will know better than myself how each chakra is associated with a color and they have a specific symbolism. From the crown chakra that is, I think, was really associated with the violet, the enlightenment, the connection, the spirituality, the universal conscience, to the root chakra that symbolized by the red, that is the stability, the grounding, the physical well-being. So think about all of that, the, how colors as a so interesting meanings that we usually are not aware of and how they influence our emotions. Otherwise, marketing and advertisements were not being so strategical in the use of them, how it evolves over time and in different cultures that will be for sure different meanings and cultures, and how evokes emotions and even a, a certain mindset in yourself when you decide to go to an event, do you have a favorite color that you use because you feel more confident, because you feel this is my color that makes me 
shine. Yes, that is a meaningful choice. That means a lot for you. Do you go to a place that have very bright colors and that make you feel energized or make you feel overwhelmed? Because the way that we relate with the environment also has this big impact in how we feel and how we think. All of these are important things that usually fly under the radar. We are not aware of it. When you, if you pick a lipstick, what is your favorite color? Do you have different colors for different moods, for different situations? If you pick a tie, a scarf, a jacket, how are you using color in your life to help you be more self-express, to evoke the right emotions in yourselves and other ones around you. So the topic of today is just that, color, and becoming more self-aware on how colors have this impact in our daily lives that most of the time we are not aware. Maybe this is a great way for you just to press the pause button, look around you, look yourself in the mirror, which colors do you, are you wearing today? Does that evoke an emotion on you? Evoke a certain thinking pattern? Make you more confident to be in the action mode or in the relaxed mode? So how that Choosing a color influences so many aspects of you. And maybe you can experiment with it. Maybe you can try a color that usually is out of your comfort zone just to see how that makes you feel. So play with it and look around you to see how other people are leveraging colors to evoke feelings in others, to evoke feelings in themselves, and even to strengthen their mindsets. I absolutely would love to hear from you, to know about your own experience and associations with colors, how that... Um, influences and how you use this. And even in groups, how do you say, if you have a company, how important is the colors of the building of the walls? Because it reflects certain values that you want to honor. So love to hear from you. I'm always an email away and at mindset.zone. And let's take this opportunity to pause, reflect, about the power of colors and embrace that experimentation mindset of trying something different and see what works best for you for having that positive impact out there. Expanding possibilities, the mindset Thank you for listening and remember to follow this podcast and if you're listening in Apple Podcasts, please leave us a review. That really helps us spread the word about the Mindset Zone. Also visit Mindset.Zone. Yes, instead of .com, is .zone. There you can find amazing resources and more information about my speaking and how I support purpose-driven individuals and organizations increase their impact while preventing burnout. As always, I'm so grateful you are here. Expand what's possible for you, for the ones around you, for the world.